12 defense and these guys have 14 attack and 13 defense or 14 attack and 10 defense English heavy bowmen because they are swordsmen right no actually no they're more like Caloglish aren't they these though are spearmen I'm actually not sure anymore uh -huh. Doesn't say anything here about being hack and drag down his enemy, including both infantrymen and cavalry. Okay, these guys though, but the English billmen are still better than our spear militia, so this is good. Oh, we should build something here as well. Town guard. Oh, I almost clicked new turn. That would be disastrous. <laughs> yeah, I'll just jump and do some more uh, building before we continue the invasion. I'm back again, and we have so much money, it is amazing. Uh, moving the troops here closer. We need to Dumfries next round, or the one after that. We're gonna move them to Castle Town and unite them with these guys, and maybe soon we'll get the next gener gener generation of generals. Sturgo brothers. This will be his first battle in Dan Stuart, the Siege of Lancaster. Unless, of course, he is Who somehow is attacked by some armies now. But with that, I think we have my done king. as much as we can for now. We're going to end the turn. Uh -huh. This seems to be going rather well, I must say. And I like how the map is expanding for us. If you see the area south of Edinburgh. Scout ship attacked. Now at least we know there are English ships there. Paris lines pulling back. Maybe now we can get an alliance against the... Uh, or with the Paris lines. I'm not too worried about him uh, moving in on us because he might as well be moving in on the English fort. Which could be good. Another diplomat dies. Prince Ulfordin is apparently Prince Ulfordin the Cruel. Oh well. But yeah, we should send a diplomat to uh, Baron's Alliance, actually. We don't trust you enough to do whose time is up. So we don't end up in a war with them as well. Because the there are such a thing as wars on too many fronts. However, my arrogance Today's says that we should be able to deal with it. Okay, they have severely reinforced this place. So it's going to be tougher to take it. Not impossible. And they have also right, suddenly a lot of ships here. Can you not tell friend from never so I think we're going to have to in engage them. Not they're going to send this guy over. 10%. Well, we have to try because it's the mission. It fails. What offends you, my king? Not easy, this. It's not easy. Oh, the king's army. Where and where? Where or where do we put them? The Admiral here is surrounded by English ships and a gunhawk. Gonna carefully evade them. Oh, we can't. Can we attack that one? Yes, my lord. Attacking. And now are we free to move, please? Yes, we are. Victory. Good. Embark where? Why, why not here? Back ashore, man. And move in towards York. And we're gonna try to sink this one. Prepare to board and engage! Down he goes. My lord, the day is ours. Da. King, the My king, lord. the king. He's gonna move in here. Get to Chester. Now, man. And he's gonna take Chester right away. How oh, fun. Oh, perfectly fun. A lot of construction going on. Now we're gonna take Chester. Your order to move in. So fun. Leave your mercy behind, men! Oh, we shall Prince show them none! <laughs> He's actually called Prince Howard the Handsome. But yeah, we are getting on with the English next in line. 21 years old. Apparently very attractive. Physically flawless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Prince Howard the Handsome is gonna feel the wrath of oh, King Mungus the Tyrant. I'm still curious where the king is. I have no idea what's going on here, but I do know I will exploit it to maximum effect. The general here is outside. 
for some strange reason, we have rushed in here, of course, to take the town center, and we have claimed it. But for some reason, the handsome is out here. We're gonna fire at him with our gunners. Didn't click on them, apparently, but I could uh, put on fire at will. Now it's gonna fall back. After we shoot a few of his men. So strange this. And it's gonna come back. Oh well. Fine by me. Oh, you also open fire. Let's open fire. Try to get the general. The strange and strange general. Where is he? He just abandoned this fort. He is the worst general I have ever seen. And the biggest coward I have ever seen. And the most stupid coward I have ever seen. Apparently the handgunners aren't that good because they're not able to do any severe damage. I would hope we could have uh, like taken the towers there, but apparently not. And he's gonna run away, is he? Well, I'm gonna cut this out part here because it's just strange and weird, and yeah, that pretty much sums it up, actually. Strange and weird. Whew. And that battle is over, and uh, we got him. In the end there I just sent out some uh, build militia, no, uh, spear militia, uh, along with all our cavalry and just encircled him and took him out. In the end I think we lost no more than th five men, ten men maybe, twenty? I don't remember. I made the accident of pressing OK instead of um, checking the uh, cas casualties and everything. But anyway, now we got him, Prince Howard the Handsome, and uh, he's gonna give us some more money if we... Yes. Accepted. It is accepted, of course. I could have executed him, of course, to execute the next in line, but to be honest, if that's the next king of England, I'm happy. Because he's nothing compared to, um... King Edward. Chest is quite small, actually, but, uh... It's fine. Nothing to repair, nothing destroyed. Excellent. And there's the fleet here, I think. Yeah. Gonna move that closer with the army. Ready. And here come some more archers to fill them in. This guy is gonna take Lancaster. If this army can't take Lancaster, no army can take Lancaster. It should be more than possible. And with our bombards, we're gonna be able to knock enough holes to make it happen. Uh, but now I think it is time for us to end this turn, or end this uh, set of updates. I feel like I have been playing for a long time now. I don't remember, maybe I am above schedule, maybe I'm less. I feel like I haven't played the uh, full time, so it might be a bit shorter, but the update not too far behind was quite long, two and a half hours, so I don't feel bad about ending it here at all. A lot of stuff has happened, and in the next set of updates, uh, this guy is going to take York. Sturgard, Sturgard is going to take Lancaster. The king here is going to move on to some place. We're going to have some spies check it out for us before we do that. Uh, don't we have another spy here? Yeah, here he is. Yeah, we're going to uh, scout it out and we're going to find some next Mighty suitable target. This army here is of course going to start moving as well. We might enter new talks with the Baron's Alliance to see if we can get a new alliance uh, or if they are interested yes. in declaring war on us, which we don't hope of course. But it's always a possibility. Moving quietly. Uh, this guy's just running around scouting, trying to find Next King of England. No further today. No. We want to know his position and we want to know his abilities. But anyway. 
The invasion of England has begun, commenced, and uh, so far it's going real well. With Lancaster and York, a lot of uh, these areas will become Norwegian and uh, can move in on more central areas of England. I have high hopes at least. Two strong armies in the north, one in the south, and uh, reinforcements coming from Castletown. I'm gonna strike Wales, I think, and conquer Wales. Any, at any rate, it's going to be very exciting. A lot of battles going on. A lot of fighting. I hope you enjoyed this uh, set of updates, and I hope you are looking forward to the next one as much as I am. With this, I'm going to end the turn and end the update. Sorry. <laughs> and I uh, hope to see you again soon, and thank you for watching. Bye.